this video we're having a look at how we fix the bridge on a TL1. So far we've set up the neck, we've attached that screw on neck, we've got the pickups wired up and bolted into place, we've got the scratch plate on and all the controls. The last thing we need, the last major thing we need to do is actually screw in the bridge. It's very important when you're working with the bridge you, you do get the right distance between the saddle and the nut. And when we come in uh, we'll show you that in close up. The reason for that is the length of a guitar string that determines the note it makes when it's tuned to the right note. So a guitar that string that long, say it's tuned to a low E, if you halve that, exactly halve that, you'll get an E note that'll be one octave higher. So you've got the low E there, and you've got an octave up. So it's very important because of where the frets are positioned that the uh, at the 12th fret is exactly in the middle between the nut and the saddle. So we'll come in closer and we'll have a look at that and we'll show you how that's done. Looking at our TL1 here, we've got the nut here and the bridge here and these three are the saddles. Now there's six strings going to come across their saddles and join up at the nut. So that distance there from the nut to the bridge saddle is the length of the string. So if you halve that length, that should be exactly over the 12th fret. So what we need to do is we need to basically measure the distance from the nut to the 12th fret. Then we need to double that, and that's where we set our bridge. Now to do that, we need a few things. We obviously need the bridge, which is already in place. We need our four screws from our screw packet there. We need a good tape measure and a Phillips head screwdriver and we also need a drill. Now I've already um, fitted the right drill bit there, I believe that's a 2.5mm and I've even masking taped that off to give me the length of the screws. Alright, so we're ready to measure. Okay, I've got the camera pulled a bit closer and you should be able to see the nut here and the 12th fret here. So we need to measure that dis distance as precisely as possible. So what I'll do, that that end of the tape measure is a bit messy and I find that's not always trustworthy. So I'm going to actually start at 100. And I'm going to line up the 100 right at the edge of the, the inside edge of the nut. I'll line that up there and I'll keep that perfectly still. And with that perfectly still I'm going to measure the middle of the 12th fret. So remember that the frets are only a few mil wide. So to get that measurement, I make it one, two, three hundred and twenty, three hundred and twenty-two millimeters. So I'll go and write that down: three hundred and twenty-two millimeters. I need to measure three hundred and twenty-two millimeters from the middle of the twelfth fret to the first saddle here, to the saddle of the E string. So I'll just see, that, see how we go there. And remember, I'll start from the 100, because I don't trust that um, end of the tape measure. And I'll put the 100 mark right in the middle of that 12th fret. And we're looking at 322. And it just so happens that E is exactly on 320. So if you look at these saddles, that saddle is actually way forward. I don't know if you can see that. I might uh, we'll come in close and have a look at that. So this saddle right here, this is where I measured, it is exactly 320 millimeters from there to the 12th fret. And as you can see, this saddle's come right out almost to the end. It can come out probably another five millimeters. So it needs to come back that way two millimetres, so that's okay. Look, we've got plenty of play there. There's about two centimetres worth of room to adjust there. So really these all be, need to be lined up a little bit further back. So I'm pretty happy with that, and that's actually pushed into the uh, scratch plate there. So I'm pretty happy with where that's positioned. You see it has got a bit of play. So I'm going to um, push that into the scratch plate and centre it against the scratch plate and then I'm going to screw it in. So I think we'll do that now. Now 
Now I've just had a thought, what I want to do before I start screwing the bridge in is I want to grab a, one of the strings and I've grabbed the thickest string, the E string I've just squared that bridge by I and I've put it through where the E string will eventually go and I've taken it down to the nut through the sixth E string nut position and I'm just seeing how that looks on the neck so let's have a look at that so there you go, you see the E string is in the position that it will be when we've finished and we're just checking how that lines up down the neck and I'm looking over the top and that looks pretty good it's uh, sitting in about perfect position so what we want to do is now we want to check the top E and make sure that's also sitting in a good position we'll do that now alright, I don't know if that shows up uh, that well on camera but I'm looking at the E string now and that's going through the um, through the top position and through, through to the top position on the nut and that's lining up really well down the fretboard so there's plenty of room for bending and whatever um, so that look, all looks pretty good I'm going to keep that bridge in place and now we'll screw that in ok, we're ready to screw that bridge in now so we'll put it back where it was there we go there and holding the bridge firmly in place we'll drill our first hole and we've got that drill bit marked off you can see there, marked off with tape so we know how deep we need to go Okay, just check, make sure that hasn't moved. Right in the middle of the hole. And there you go, that's our four holes for the bridge. Take that out. Now, don't forget about our little earthing wire here. You may remember we left that when we were doing the soldering. That needs to stay up on the wood there. So when we put the bridge down, we're going to clamp that down. So I'll just do that. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do that if you hold it on as you put the bridge down. And there you go. And line it up to the holes you've just drilled and screw it in. There you go, the bridge is in place, that's not going anywhere. I think it's now time we put some strings on this baby and uh, we start setting it up, see how it sounds. 